Hey there, Sister Cerise here. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. This reading is going to be a tarot and true crime Thursday reading. Yes, this is going to be on Jody Arias. My gosh, if you are not sure who this girl is, you should really Google her and then watch this video. Or watch this video and get some background watch her on google her look at her police interview and then listen to this video again let's pull a card on her past okay so she always was looking for change she wanted balance she had a lot of good ideas she's creative and she is she was always very much interested in photography photography but not only that she was also in her life determined to become more than what she felt she was raised like she was raised in an average home with a lot of support from her family but she felt like there was something more glamorous for her like there was something more important in her life like she was born for greatness now if you guys for those of you who don't know the story she killed her boyfriend they were broken up for a while and his name was Travis now Travis let's pull a card on him he was born in a family where both of his parents were heavy addicts then he moved in with his grandmother. His grandmother was of the Mormon religion, and he converted and became Mormon. He was also a motivational speaker, and he was 28 at the time when she took his life, when Jody took his life. And he was well on his way to stardom. Like he could, at age 28, doing the motivational speaking that he was doing, he probably would have been one of the next Tony Robbins. And he felt that way too. And he was in that type of position. He was very astute, very charming. And he was showing people the power that was invested in him where she really respected him. Jody really respected Travis. Now let's look at their relationship when they first met on this card here, how their characters connected. Okay, so their characters did connect. They built up for a while. They were together for five months before Travis decided to take a new path. Now you see the last card there, you see a man and you know, he just really wants peace and harmony in his life. He has a lot of passion. He wants to lead and be motivated and, and you know, radiate in life. He has a lot of plans and he built a lot with her. You see all those little coins there? That was the relationship that they built. But And he's looking at it because he really is into her, but he's like, you know, she is just a little off and I cannot be with her. He really did love her and care for her, but he had to leave what he invested and just leave with the little of his heart that he had left. Now, let's pull a card on we're going to pull three more cards and we're going to pull a card on what she was looking for in him and what he was just looking for in a relationship and then a third card on what they became. Okay, so here we go. Let's look at Jodi Arias and see what she wanted from him, what she wanted from Travis. So what she wanted from Travis, she knew she wasn't going to get. She was going to have to settle for less. She didn't want to. She was looking at what she wasn't getting. She wanted something of emotions. She wanted something that was a relationship, something that would build, something that would feed her love, feed her passion, her desires. Let's look at what he was looking for in a relationship and also Jody. So he wasn't really looking for what she was looking for. One day he felt like, yes, she's awesome and he wanted her and he loved her. And then the next day he knew that, no, she's not really the one for him. Because, you know, she would go to his house sometimes unexpected. She would just show up. She was quite 
what you would call obsessive and also intrusive in his life. And he knew that it, something was not normal. And his friends also knew something wasn't normal with Jody. And Travis had to break up with her. And when he did, again, he still had emotions for her. So they went up and they went down. And he was like, you know, at the end of the day, he still cared for her. Now let's pull a card on what happened to their relationship. Okay, so they pretty much were still friends. They decided to just come together and make an agreement to break up and she pretended like she accepted it. He somehow made her agree to intimacy only. And she wasn't really feeling that, but in her heart she was feeling like, there was still more, like they can still become one, get married, have children, and make sure that they're together for a long time until death do them part. These three cards are going to be on after they broke up. And this is going to be about Jody only. So when they first broke up, it was hard on Jody. She was just really struggling. She didn't know what to do. She felt lonely. She felt like, oh my gosh, she lost the man of her dreams. And how is she going to find another Travis? And, you know, if she only didn't do certain things and why wouldn't he want a woman like her? She's beautiful, sexy, you know, she really felt like she was the catch and she couldn't believe that he just did not want her. She thought that she could get him back. Could she? Let's see. Again, that card, no, no, there's no way she could get him back. The reason why is because what she was looking for in him, he was not looking for that in her. He could tell that she was not the woman for him. When it came to intimacy, he was definitely up to that. He was up for that, but anything else he was not going to give her. And let's see how she felt about that. She felt disconnected. She felt hurt. She felt like, she, again, she was all alone. And she really felt like, you know, she was worth more. And she found it hard to accept that he didn't want her. Let's look at how he felt about her. Okay, so here is how he felt about her. All right, so we already know that he decided to break up with her, but this is after the breakup, and he was still dipping with her. You know, he had one foot on the land, one foot in the water type of thing. So he was dealing with the best of both worlds. He was getting from her intimacy, loving kindness, and even though they were broken up for some time, he knew that she adored him, but he knew she was, and let me just say this lightly and not very, I'm sorry if it comes out mean, but he knew she was just a little off. He was like, like, no, 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 we're not having this. And, you know, but at the same time, he was leading her on. And she was feeling that the two of them would be together one day. And that's not fair. It's not cool to her. At the same time, you know, he, she even became a Mormon, converted for him. She did a lot for him, thinking she was going to get married and have children with him. But he just wasn't feeling it. And he was holding on to his intuition. Let's see how he was handling it. There we go. He knew that he had to break up with her. He knew that they needed to change and he couldn't be with her. He knew that she was volatile. She'd go off and she'd act strange. But again, she would always crowd him, go to his place when he least expected it and show up when she wasn't invited. All his friends felt like she was way too obsessive and controlling. And, you know, another thing, he decided he was going to go on a trip from his work his work said he could go somewhere and he didn't even want to take her and he had already moved on to another love interest her name was Mimi but Mimi wasn't really feeling him now let's look at how he felt just before his life was taken ooh 
Yeah, see, he wasn't feeling Jody at all. He was like, you know what? I like her, but I'm looking for someone else. Jody's fun, but she's just crazy. She's a crazy fun girl, but she's not a woman that he could take around to the business meetings that he was going to be going to in the future. Because remember, him as a, you know, in inspirational coach and everything, there's going to be a lot, a lot that he can deal with. So at the end of the day, I think she would have been an embarrassment to him. Now, let's see if her crime was premeditated. She wanted to get him back. When she went to see him that night, it was to turn him on and make him feel good. Make him remember how important she is how good she makes him feel. She was planning to make him love her or never be able to leave her. Some of it was premeditated 100%. She stabbed this man 25, 27 times, over 25 times, 27 times and shot him in the head. Can you believe this? That's what she did. That is a crime of passion but she nagged him and bothered him and she would not accept the breakup let's look at this her accepting the breakup no she just wanted her she wanted her way she wanted him to be her king and that was it she wanted him to give her the fruits of what she wanted the children and also a long term relationship she was hoping she could get from him everything she wanted in life because she could see that he was able to produce a good income and a good life for her and for him. She could tell he would be a great dad and a wonderful husband. She wasn't giving up. Let's see what happened in the passionate moment. Yes. All she could think about was herself, her desire for happiness, and what she wanted in life. The children, the family, the marriage. And when she realized, when she went to his house, and they were intimate, and that's all he wanted from her, and nothing more, she became very, very upset. And that's when she could think about nothing else. If she couldn't have him, nobody else could. These cards of the chariot and the king of pentacles and the family, they represent somebody with a lot of pride, a lot of, um, a, a lot of power. And this is what she had. She convinced herself that she was powerful, convinced herself that she should have the best in life. And we all should have the best in life. We really should. But we have to earn it in certain ways. And if the other person that we want it with is not interested in sharing our lives with us, then our life with us, then we need to accept that and move on with faith, knowing that there is someone out there for us. So now let's pull on that night. What happened was after they were intimate, let's see. It was hard for Jody. Jody was like, no, this is just too difficult. He just used her once again for sex. She couldn't handle it. She was just angry about it. So what happened was he went into the shower after they were intimate. And when he was in the shower, she took his new camera and she started to take photos of him as he was in the shower. And if you look it up, you will see these photos, photos on the internet and you can see he's upset. He's like, stop taking photos. He didn't want her to take pictures of him naked. He's a man that was going to be making it in life and he didn't want naked pictures of him out there. And he's like, stop it. She's annoying him. And he's like, stop it. And, he, and so, you know, he went into the shower as he was naked in the shower. She took more pictures of him without his permission. And you can see him blocking the camera and you can see he's upset. And then he body slammed her. And let's see how she felt about that. Uh, yeah, she could see. 
See, these cards are in very interesting. She could see that he was taking a new path in life. She could see he was not interested. She was like, he doesn't even want her to take pictures of him. He's body slamming her. Why? Now, she's in her head most likely thinking it's because of Mimi. He doesn't want Mimi to see the pictures of him or she. he's afraid that she'll put them, you know, on Facebook or something, right? But it wasn't that. It was more of his pride. It was more of his his future. He just didn't need photos of him being naked out there. Let's pull this card to see how he felt. Yes, exactly. His future, he was thinking about his his business, his security, his stability, his communication with the world, his, you know, confidence, and he just didn't want those photos being released years later against his will. So he was telling her, stop it, stop it. And he was trying to get the camera from her. She just didn't like it because he could tell, she, that she could tell, Jody could tell that Travis was not interested. Jody could feel within her soul that he was taking another path in life. So what did she do? She plotted revenge. She wanted to defeat him. She wanted him to hurt the way she was hurting. And she allowed her emotions to get the best of her. The moon represents cancer sign. And she's actually a cancer sign. Her astro astrological sign is cancer. So she fought herself. She struggled for a second. And she was like, oh, oh. And, you know, she shot him. And then she stabbed him. And then slit his throat. That's what she did. She allowed her anger and her resentment and her evil side to take revenge. And let's look at the outcome. There we go. She feels that she's successful at what she did. She feels like she leads a good life right now. In jail, she wasn't given the death sentence. She actually won an award singing for Christmas in jail. She's doing different things. She's working. She's still living her life. There's a lot of people in prison who, like her, need control, schedules, be put on certain timelines, and also still educate themselves while they are behind bars. And it looks like Jody is that type of woman. You know, it's very sad. I just got to tell you guys, you know, if you are in a relationship where somebody is misbehaving, your soul will tell you, your spirit will tell you, you will be like, oh, this person's just a little off. If they don't hurt you, they may hurt someone else. So you do want to make sure you separate yourself from them as quickly as possible and don't have any more ties with them. Travis's first mistake was continuing to have intimate, intimate relations with Jody, And that's where, if he didn't do that, he might still be living today. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I am Sister Cerise. Thank you so much for taking a second to subscribe. Oh my gosh, do I ever appreciate that you are watching these videos and you're enjoying them and commenting and also leaving me messages for more videos. Look out for the one that I'm going to be making soon on Selena and The Weeknd, Abel, and why they broke up, how their relationship was when they were together as well. Take care, everyone. Huge hugs, loads of love, big blesses.